Now, if you'll excuse me, I must rejoin my host. The sacrotalk is said to be divine. Yes, gobble down their Nazi food, guzzle their Nazi wine, then try to sleep tonight. You go too far. You've got to help me. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm desperate. You're my only hope. If you don't help me, Raina Aldrich will die on Friday. Please help me. Please, please. Charles Bush um, was a very famous playwright in New York downtown. But when he started, he was a performance artist downtown. And he was a drag performer, but he took drag to this whole other level where he would do parodies of famous Hollywood uh, genre films. And they were campy, and yet they were like valentines to these films. This is one of his plays, um, one of his most successful ones. I am a soldier on the uncle's command. And what he is doing is uh, gently lampooning and paying homage to the 1940s anti-Nazi wartime melodrama that were very popular, like uh, Escape, Notorious, Once Upon a Honeymoon, and uh, all those films. A few go through, then will I see you again? Well, I shall be in Los Angeles through December, but by then, darling, you and your men will be marching down Hollywood Boulevard. I am so disappointed. I so did want to show you my laboratory. I'm just now beginning on human experiments. I, I'm fascinated by the field of science. After all, music and physics are closely allied. Perhaps, uh, Dr. Gertrude, will stay if we, have you American say, twist your arm? I'll twist her arm, uncle. He writes about movies at a time where movies brought the whole country together. There wasn't television, so these movies were made to unite the country, yes. especially during World War II. By being drag performers and by lampooning these films, it makes us sit back and examine why these films are so successful. What in the genre spoke to the country on a sociological issue? It doesn't poke fun of, but it exaggerates the humor from these films and allows the audience to laugh at what made them so popular and so strong.